Hi, you guys. I hope everybody had a wonderful and fun New Year's Eve. And today is New Year's Day, of course. And um, I did something different this year. I went and saw, um, I went and for the New Year, well, not by myself, but I was with a friend. And um, I came home the next, I came home today because today is the 31st and um I am dealing with a lot of emotions right now and a lot of feelings I guess one because this is the first New Year's one that I well not the first that I bought in by myself because I have moved I moved out before and I brought in maybe one or like one or two New Year no two year two New Years by myself or with someone else but that's neither here nor there it's this I think this year is different because my daddy's not here and. I don't know. I just felt the urge to pick up the camera and show you guys and talk to you guys about the the real raw of grieving and, and grieving a parent that's no longer physically here. Um, so now my daddy's here spiritually, and I I feel him and I. Sometimes I hear him a lot, especially in the moments where I'm doubting myself as far as like moving. Cause I, I have, I have some guilt. Like I feel like it'd be, it'd be a lot on my mom and my, my brother and sister with me leaving so soon after you know my dad passing and and I, and and I'm realizing now so consciously it's the money aspect of it it's not the oh me not being here aspect of it um cuz I was at the end of the day I'm always still a phone call away and they know where I can, they can come see me and I know I can come home. In the weird, crazy kind of way, it's the way society has us thinking like money is all everything. And I don't, and I honestly don't want to leave, leave them in a way where financially they struggle, which I know they won't. Um, because God's got them just like, I know God's got me. And in a crazy way, it's, I figured this is just one of them like little tough patches in 2022 that I'm having. Um, because um, to be completely honest with y'all, I was supposed to technically, I could have moved into my new place on the 31st or on Monday. Like this Monday coming, um, cause it's of course January first, but um, me being how y'all know how me y'all don't I mean y'all know a little bit but not a lot about the whole me wanting to move out again, um, but I did that like a separate video, but like um, short long story short. This time I moved out, I wanted to do it differently. Like, I wanted to be somewhat prepared to move and have things to move with. And, um, I wanted to find a place that, what I could afford and not necessarily live paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. Um, just because that's just not how I want to live my life. I'm not 
the last time I moved out, I I did it because I thought I was in love and other dumb, crazy mess. But this time, I wanted to, to do it in my way or, you know, in the way that I know, I, I know God would want me to do it. So, um, so as of today, I'm officially three weeks, three weeks from today, I'll be moving into my own place. I won't have everything completely and y'all will see that in upcoming vlogs, um, and things like that when I move and all that. I'll have the basics, the necess like necessities that I need, um, just because of it's just life and how I'm doing things is is not necessarily. Some people will agree with this. Some people won't. It is what it is at this point, um, because I know some family members are like, how are people? Like, how are you moving? You just lost your dad. You're going to, you know. Um, if you know me, you know I'm not going to do nothing that I feel is not going to be beneficial for my family. That's just how I, like, the woman that I am now and the woman that I'm becoming now, I wouldn't want to do anything to hurt my family. So, therefore, my... My mom is supportive and this is how I know this is God's plans and this is how I know I'm on the right path in a, in a way, in a, not even a crazy way, just my spirituality. My mom and sister bought me a whole bunch of stuff like to move for Christmas. My grandma, my grandma who I'm on my mama's side, we draw names and um, we, each person buys like gifts for that person, for that person that they picked. And so my grandma had my sister. And my grandma is a very church going lady. She goes to church. She reads her Bibles, Bible daily. She prays daily. And for her to give me a gift in my moving process, like the process of me moving out, leaving home again for the final time and doing it on my own and for her to give me a gift um, speaks volumes to me and just, it just honestly you know, in, in, in God's way, that's his way of showing and telling me what I'm doing in this path that I'm on is the correct path. Um, she got me like little dish towels um to put up and she also got me christmas well they're like more more christmas um dish towels to go in the in the kitchen and she got me christmas cards and i quote this is what my grandma said to me on christmas day because that's where we went for christmas she's told me that she got me these christmas cards and she expects a christmas card next year coming from me from my new place and honestly that solidified everything that all my emotions that I've been feeling um all of the doubt that I may have that I had that solidified it for me um but I got off on a little tangent I just want to come say happy new year it's the year 2022 blessings to all of you Thank you, God, for bringing us all into a brand new year. And I pray that we all um, continue to grow, grow closer to him and come into our own and continue to write our own, write our own chapters in our own books. Um, continue to be what God put us on this earth to be and Honestly, I know it may sound weird. Like, I don't, I do this. Honestly, I don't do this for the views. I don't do this for the potential money that I could make. I do it because I honestly want to look back on it and see where I've come from. Um, And I, and I, and this year, I'm going to be more consistent with it. I promise you that. Um, 
So I'm just going to upload this the way it is. Um, everybody, all you, everyone that watches this video has a wonderful 2020, year 2022. And I love you all and stay tuned for more.